Every year, the Privacy Industry celebrates Data Protection Day, otherwise known as Data Privacy Day. In Lagos, Nigeria, the day typically marks an opportunity for experts to hold crucial forums where they discuss, raise awareness and work together to drive the privacy industry forward while highlighting rights individuals have specifically relating to personal data and privacy. Data privacy initiative is committed to actively create awareness and quality of data privacy protection, social media, and digital privacy. We want everyone regardless of gender to fulfill destiny by following the best practices and good ethics in the application of social media and data privacy. Our mission is to promote and build public confidence through best practices in data privacy and social media. We stand with you today to, to, to assure you of our readiness and preparedness to tie along with your uh, society in ensuring that while we are developing a robust of, uh, amount of data, we also look at conditions that will make the data very useful, very helpful for the education sector. The summit this year opened up the floor for active discussions about how stakeholders can better protect and guard their data across a variety of industries, as well as the tools and strategies to put them in place. We need to agree that in order for government to come out for certain private data, they must go through steps A, B, C. Otherwise, what we are going to end up with is anarchy. Anybody who violates should be punished. We should not run away from sanction in this country. It is when we begin to do all of that that we are good to go. We can't run away from the theory. Somebody, government, will still take you know, the bold step in regulating violations. When you are talking about your data protection, you talk about transparency. Then the second one is accountability. You must, you must be accountable to somebody. Now you talk about somebody on the social media. Giving out all kinds of lies, all kinds of false goods, and there is nobody to give accounts to. If I want to give out any data, if I want to keep any information, I have to look at it. Is it fair to everybody concerned? Is it fair to all the stakeholders? It is important that we are knowledgeable to ensure that certain data should not actually be. Um, I mean, the, the, the exchange or the shared without the permission of uh, the, the owners of such data. Speakers at the event said the awareness behind data protection should be permitted to the society every day. We all have to contribute and make sure that we see it to a logical conclusion. The most important thing is to have a law. The things that advocate my own values, who protects, what do we do? We need to be very careful and do it right so that we get it right. We need something like a data privacy commission in Nigeria. A body that will work with a private sector like this to collect all the sensitive data, all the information we need, and pass most of this information to our schools, to Rose City, to have what they have. Can we have a single database? For us to have more security and more privacy for our data, rather than having fragmented databases in all these kind of centers, I think we should be able to have that. We need to begin to provide a platform to inculcate this understanding into our children. When we are professional, it's going to be easy. For us to protect data. Users of applications were urged to familiarize themselves with the policies of the applications before disclosing their data. With that awareness, there's nothing anybody can do. Privacy starts from individual. In fact, data privacy is about individual. Freedom of information is about the public. So for you to have a good governance, you must have a culture of data privacy. And the only way is to create awareness, let people know why data privacy is important and that is why we have been doing this for the past four years. The basis of every decision is accurate data. If you don't have accurate data, the chances of you making a good decision is very slim. 
This is, uh, uh, it is those decisions that lead to outcomes, that people take actions. So you cannot overemphasize the need for accurate data because that is what you're going to plan on. That's what you're going to make decisions in. And that's what the entire society is actually supposed to run. The digitalization of the world makes it easier to get access to and collect data. Data privacy therefore becomes more and more relevant to every facet of the human life. It is high time attention is paid to data privacy and protection.